Head to weather now. We've got Josh in for Natasha tonight. And hey, if you like the rain, then that's going to be music to your ears tonight. Yes, yeah. the pitter patter on the sound of the roof just really kind of lulls you. And mm -hmm. that's going to be the case over the next several days. We've been talking about the atmospheric river helping to increase the moisture here across the area. And that's why we saw some fog starting to race through some of the rolling hills out towards the Forest Grove area. This site, all thanks to our Explore Tualatin Valley camera. Of course, visibility being impacted right now, but not necessarily because of fog, but the rain showers that are coming down really kind of putting a stop on how far we can see. We have seen improvements, though, for Portland back up to about seven miles and Tillamook down to zero as significant rain continues to find its way out along the coast. A live look out over downtown Portland on this Friday evening. Those low hanging clouds still remaining as the light rain showers continue to fall across the area, but our temperature right now out at PDX 58 degrees. You'll notice throughout the rest of the overnight hours holding on to that rain potential. We dry just briefly by about four or five o'clock in the morning before our next round of the wet weather returns. But boy, we have been enjoying the pops of color here with dry skies to start off our day today. It really allowed us to enjoy those views. And maybe you happen to have a spectacular tree in your yard. We'd like to see it. And you can head to coin.com right now to share your photos, especially if you're out and about doing some lawn work, raking the leaves. They're likely going to be weighing just a little bit more out there as the wet weather takes us all the way into the start of next week. Mother Nature might be its own leaf blower, though. For tomorrow's, we see wind gusts near about 25 miles per hour. As the wet weather continues to push its way through the area. Those yellows and oranges out towards the Salem area right now, picking up on some of the heaviest of the downpours as it tracks its way to the north and east. Portland itself also seeing a good drink of water, especially out towards the airport right now as the coastline sees high winds tonight all the way through 3 o'clock tomorrow. We're talking about wind gusts nearing 65 miles per hour. Even Portland will get in on those strong winds. Just look at 9, 10 o'clock, expecting to see wind gusts near 30 miles per hour here in the city as those south winds race through the Willamette Valley. As far as the atmospheric river goes, it takes us all the way through the weekend, and that's where we could potentially see some urban flooding. Upwards of an inch, inch and a half of rain is possible on top of what we've already managed to put in the rain gauge, which is three tenths of an inch for Portland. All thanks to this atmospheric river that continues to sway back and forth over western Oregon and Washington. Takes a bit of a dip down towards the south. Our friends in California get the brunt of it as the light rain showers still remain in abundance even in the Sunday. But as far as our timeline goes, those yellows and oranges a good indication of where the heaviest of the downpours are expected and maybe even a thunderstorm potential as a Additional rain accumulation amounts up to again inch, inch and a half possible by Sunday. Thunderstorm potential, nothing severe possible for the I-5 quarter. It pushes itself a little bit further off to the west for Sunday. But for tonight, we fall back to about 58 degrees. Winds continuing to pick up. We'll see much of the same tomorrow. Maybe a few breaks in the clouds as we get up to about 63 in our seven-day forecast. You can't forget, before we go to bed Saturday night into Sunday, we fall back one hour. That means a new sunset time of about 4.52 on Sunday and we'll have those cloudy conditions to just make it feel extra November-esque here in Western Oregon and Washington as we fall back to the mid 50s. All right, and we'll cue that share song. What is it, Josh? Turn back time. That's right. There you go. There you go. Yes. Yeah, I just love it. <laughs> Will you be appearing at the Moda Center anytime soon? Oh, look out for tickets. <laughs> Adam, what's happening in sports?